different outfit for me, right? Yeah, I know. But before we talk about the outfit, now I remember it was 2021, and I said, you know what, let me, let me take a break and get something to eat. And when I was getting something to eat, I was walking into the store, somebody came up to me with a box of figurines. True story. He said to me, he said, Rush, I was listening to you on the radio, and because of something you said on the radio, and because of the motivational clips you played, you inspired me to start my business. Make me emotional, you know, because this is not a, this is a, I don't want to call him a street youth, but this is just a regular poor Jamaican person, all right? And just out, 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 out on the street, selling from a box of some little figurines and stuff like that. And he said, I started my business because of something you said. And that happened to me a couple times since the last couple of years because of something I said on the radio or something I've said on, on the internet or one of the motivational clips that you always hear me play on the radio. Someone has come to me and says to me, thanks. And a lot of the time it's like the poorest of the poor. Like I remember one time I was in New Kingston and I was going to a party. It might have been one something in the morning. Somebody rode up to me on a bicycle and said the same thing. Uh, I thought he was going to beg me some money. And the first thing he said to me was like, yo, R Rush, respect and thanks. Because the things that you say help. I just realized that we can have an impact on people. And I decided in 2024 that I'm going to change everything. I changed my Instagram name from Why Rush Music to Why Rush Mission for a reason. Here's the reason. Every video, if you look, I'm saying one thing. We get what it is we deserve, life is fair. In the end, we all get exactly what it is that we've earned and what we deserve. So I decided to walk that walk, and I'm encouraging everybody, follow me. Now, what do I mean? There is a way for us to change our lives. I'm not selling anybody anything. I don't want nobody. I don't want nothing from anybody. So if you watching this right now are looking for a way to make more money, you're looking for change your life, you're looking to be better, you're not satisfied. Well then, I'm talking to you then. I remember when I was a youth growing up, we all imitate someone. That's why badness is something that's so appealing because it's always the, the gangster in the ghetto or the Don. He got the money, he got the girls, he got the respect. So what else are we gonna want when we're growing up? We're gonna want that. And we're gonna emulate what we see. So I decided that, you know what? In Jamaica, I only see two ways people see out. The average person thinks of sports and the average person thinks of music. So it's either you're gonna run fast, like you're saying, Bolt, big up Bolt, huge inspiration to me, or you're gonna turn a big selector like Rush or an artist or a producer or a promoter. Every single day when I sit in my house, I've been studying for an average about 13 hours a day. And every day and every night I hear a party keeping somewhere. And yeah, Jamaican people will love to party, but I don't think that's the reason why parties keep every single night in Jamaica. I think parties keep every single night in Jamaica because everybody in Jamaica is a promoter. Everybody at one point in time has been an artist. Everybody at one point in time has been a DJ or a selector. And everybody has been a part of a party at one point in time. And I think that's, that's because Jamaican people are looking for a way out, a way to elevate. And we only know two ways. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what, let me present a third opportunity to the people in the world. There is another opportunity. So what did I do? I was thinking of how I was, was going to change my life. I don't want to be a storyteller. I've done everything I've ever wanted in music as a DJ. In fact, most people don't even see me as a DJ anymore. I think most people see me as a social commentary person. Nobody says to me, yo, Rush, you, you need to keep a party. No, everybody says, Rush, you need to have a podcast. Everybody says, I hear that at least once or twice a day. So I decided that's going to change my life. And I'm saying this because I want people to follow me. I want people to use me and say, well, if Rush can do it, I can do it. In January, I took my first exam. I studied from December and I decided, you know what, one of the things that I stand for is health. That's why I was doing Fitness Fridays, because I was leading into myself being in a fitness example and I was going to be someone that was going to give health coaching and fitness coaching. And I do do that for my friends. So I went and I became certified as a personal trainer to make it official. So I did my CPR, I did my AED, and then I did my personal trainer certification from NASA. Now I'm an official certified personal trainer, which was a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. That exam was no joke. I feel like I'm a nurse right now. Like, anybody need brain surgery, hit me up. 
Trust me, because <laughs> after that exam, yo, right? So that was, that was my first step. And then I thought about it and I was like, yo, the best contribution that we can all do to this earth is be the best us. Usain Bolt would have never been as great an accountant as he would have been the track star. And we can all be good at many things, but there's one thing that I think that we're designed for more than other things, right? So I thought about it again and I'm like, all right, cool. Then what then? And I rallied back, which is why I stopped the Fitness Fridays videos. And hey, everybody cussed me. Rush, well, I'm to the Fitness Fridays videos. I was following those. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, um, you that are watching this, there's something in you that Ja made in you that he didn't put in other people. Or you're good at something. You might have a skill in running jokes. You might have a skill in um, being able to talk. Or you might have a very good math brain. Or you can write stories and, or something. You have a skill, right? And what I'm trying to tell people now is that you can embrace that skill. And I'm, and I'm hoping people not only embrace your inner skill, but follow me. Follow me in my journey. Because the next thing I decided I was going to do, I was going to jump into the cyber world. Yeah, I was going to jump into cyber security. Why? Because I don't know if anybody realizes it, but I have a degree in computer science with a whole bunch of math courses. So I'm a math and science guy. You all know that. If you watch my videos, you can pick it up. I decided, you know what? I already have the degree. Let me jump back in cybersecurity. And I found it interesting. So I took six days. I got my first cloud certification, the AWS CCP, to let me know what the cloud is about. Thought about it again, and I'm like, you know what? Let me try something more technical. And I did my first, um, I took six more days, and I got my Network Plus, so that I could learn about the seven layers of the OSI model and the application layer and the physical layer and the data link layer and how does TCP work and how does UDP work and what is a MAC address and how to translate all of these things and everything. Six days later, I passed my security plus. The same night, I passed my network plus. I took an hour break, celebrated, ate a piece of cake. Yeah, I had a cake celebration. And then I did my security plus and passed that. So in less than three weeks, I got my AWS CCP, my network plus, and my Security Plus from Comptia, and there hasn't been a day I haven't studied at least 13 hours. And I'm saying this, people, because the average salary for an entry-level qualified cloud person is about 140,000 US. It's the highest growing field in the world right now, cloud security, cyber security. There's millions of jobs out there for people, millions! No, while the exams might cost money, you don't even need to pass the exam. Just study, build up a resume, show all of your skills, the courses I'm taking that I took to pass, say for example, the first cloud certification and all of these other certifications, you can go on YouTube for free. Go on Professor Messer, for example, on YouTube. His course is free. It's an absolutely amazing course. You can learn everything about entry-level cybersecurity from him. It's free. Take the, the training and build a resume, do projects and do everything for free. The only thing you might need to pay for is a course on Udemy. Go on Udemy and take it for $14. I can tell people, if you go on Udemy, you might see a course for $84, ask me, and I can show you a legitimate way to get that down to $14 in five seconds. When I was on Udemy, I, I decided to look, there's a course on AC repair. So if you want to service ACs, fix ACs, you want to do um, driveway resurfing, you want you sur surfacing, you want to do masonry, whatever it is, there's a $14 US course. Now, big up world boss. I know a lot of you people found 100 or 200, whatever dollars it is to go to a cartel party. But to all the other people that found that money, you can find $14 and learn a course on Udemy. Change your life. Now, since I passed those courses, what did I do next? I passed my EJPT. That's my junior penetration tester. I did every single course that was related to offensive security on Try Hack Me. I did almost every single course on Hack the Box, which is another resource that if you're interested in cybersecurity like me, please be interested in cybersecurity like me. You can get a monthly subscription on both of those sites for about $10 US. Start with Track Me because it's more beginner friendly by far. Because believe me, when I started, I knew nothing. I started and I tried to follow Keith Adams' course and I was lost. And I had to dial it back, dial it back, dial it back. I mean, this is after I took my Network Plus and my Security Plus and Pass. I had to redial it, dial it, dial it back. And I, and I went and tracked me and I said, yes. And then I went and got my PNPT from TCM Security. Big up to Heath Adams. Your course is amazing. I got that course. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. So within six months, I got all of that. I passed my coursework for the OSCP. Yet to pass that exam. But that's there. I'm encouraging people. I'm walking the talk. You hear me talk all the while on the radio. You hear me say all kind of motivational stuff. Well, now I'm walking my talk. 
Remember, the money you make is in direct proportion to your ability to help people. If you are improving people's lives, giving an impact to people's lives, you will make money. If you're not making money, it means that what you're doing is of minor impact. You're not helping nobody. You're like a windshield wiper wiping people's cars that has a windshield wiper on it. You offer zero value to humanity. So when you think about what you want to plan in your life, think about the, is it gonna impact other people's lives? Is it gonna make other people's lives better? Is it a growing field? Because you have fields that are shrinking. Bear in mind artificial intelligence. It's impacting the world. I'm on a mission and I want to be proud of me. I want to be proud of myself. And I want to be an example for everybody out there to follow. The other day, I'm proud of it. I did my first cybersecurity work. My name is on a document of official penetration testing work. Me, yours truly, Rush. And the other day, last thing I'm gonna say about this is that I went to a job interview. I sent out six resumes. One of them was for a systems administrator for Jamaican business chain. And I was told I was overqualified. She looked at me and she said, there's no way, you're way too overqualified for that. Imagine that. And that's a job that pays more than the average person that's watching this. That's, this job is not a bad job. And in six months, I'm overqualified for it. So think about that. Come with me on a journey. Anybody has a question, if, if I can't answer it, I don't know everything, I'm still new, I'm learning, hit me in the comments, all right? And I'll try my best to explain anything I've learned or anything that I know, all right? One love, big up yourself. Mad.